Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Yes, you are on Deb Chanel's 48th World, and we're going to give this life a twirl okay i just felt like rhyming like that <laughs> but honey baby the head b i see the one that said she was the queen that built what we now know as the real housewives of atlanta honey shady old carlos king is coming through and he is having a nap a nightcap show rendition of season one of Real Housewives of Atlanta. And he's bringing the OGs back. And guess who not going to be a part of it? Five, four, three, two, one. Hey. Nene won't. Hey. Nene won't. Want to know why? Because she got her man. That she stole from a lady. And she's suing Bravo. Hey, it must be crazy. Yes, honey. Miss Nene Leaks in all her glory is not going to be present at the first and only nightcap that Carlos King is bringing back and out for us to meet the OGs that started the Real Housewives of Atlanta and put it on the map. But the head be I see girl won't be there. And what kind of shit is that, Nene? I tell you, Bravo shade you, truly entertainment shade you. NBC don't want you to be <laughs> even known to them anymore, girl. Child, it's a hot mess and this would have been a perfect time for you and Kim to sit down because aren't you messing with the married man? Because Katrina Leak said you are. That's how you got her dad away from her mama. Yes, all of your slip sliding in and out. Everybody's uh, husbands in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> she got your head on a platter, Miss Leeks. She got your head on a platter. And since you're going around here allegedly dating Shaba, scammer man. And Lord knows we don't even know what he's been telling you. Regarding the situation with his wife. He's probably feeding you a lot of bullshit, Nene. A lot of bullshit. And you can't see the forest for the trees. Because you're just happy. A man of his stature. A man that looks like how he looks. Would be attracted to you. Girl. You thought you were adding value to Greg's life. When he was living. I'm pretty sure. He could do better. But since you can help him in ways. And open up doors for him. That he couldn't really get to. Because. Uh, yeah. He had more friends in the past. Or associates. And they felt miser miserably. Trying to get him to the main source. Of everybody. In Atlanta. And coastal. By coastal. Alright. And then he has that flair. She has rubbed heads. With some of the who who's people. And all of that. And you're trying to capitalize on her notoriety. Yes. You're trying to look into her address book. To see how many lucrative women. She know that have men. And it ain't just them. You can cut a suit up for a woman as well. If it need be. I mean people like Fantasia. Um, what's his name? Hamilton. I forgot what his name was. Dang, I can't think of his name. Anthony. Is it Anthony Hamilton? He's a singer. And uh, some basketball players. Of course, Peter Thomas. But 
his catalog goes back to 2017 of people that he had worked with. But, you know, have you anybody heard of Nani, Nayoni before Nini brought him on? I didn't. I was wondering where um, uh, Peter Thomas was getting his wares from when he was being seen on the show of Real Housewives of Atlanta when his wife, then his wife, at that point, Cynthia Bailey, was, uh, uh, they were together in a relationship to in marriage as well. And uh, he was dressed in really, really nice. So now I see where all that transpired from. But it made Nene be the catalyst that was set off his career. I mean, it's always been there, but she put him to another level. I mean, she compoted him like a rocket going up in the sky. All right. And some people say, we know, uh, him and his wife had an understanding that Nene was going to just be his uh, mentor. She was going to be putting him in position to meet a lot of influent people and this, that, and the third. And the wife kind of bought it at the time. But then when she started seeing Nene traveling from Africa to uh, Las Vegas to Paris, France, and all these things. She's like, mm mm, they ain't doing no uh, meeting people trying to build up his clientele. They sitting up there acting like they are a couple, and I'm offended. <laughs> and I guess when Nene, he wasn't with Nene, he was at his wife's house, and they were getting it on and getting into it, okay? So it's just a hot mess. I don't understand. I really, really don't understand how. How things have gotten now with people and trying to form relationships. Hopefully it leads to a marriage. It's crazy as hell. Because you're breaking the moral fiber, Nene, of marriage and what it stands for. You know good and God dog well that that man was married. Now whatever he told you could have been like in one ear and gone out the next. But you have been so vulnerable so fragile that you need that love even in the midst of him not even i repeat even showing you any type of affection a love or kissy face or you know just whatever holding you in a cherished adorned way that never ever transpired so my question to you was why would you be with someone that would treat you that way okay because every photo you were in, except for like maybe recently, maybe a couple of days, we saw him kissing you or something like that, alluding to kissing you. But he never, ever did that prior to his wife coming out. The closet or the house or the farm or the car screaming to the top of her lungs where it reached us on social media that she was not happy. Or what she was seeing going across the social media uh, airways with her husband and Nene being a little bit more than what they said. And then when Nene brought out saying, that's my man. That, that, that took another whole level of understanding right there. And that woman was probably mad as hell. And she probably was blowing up his phone, uh, calling his friends to call him. I mean, it was crazy. Oh, that's what we're thinking that transpired. The very opposite could be they are in cahoots to take you down, Nene. To take you down. Try to get most of the majority of your money. Because I am pretty sure you done told that man how much you plan on getting or the ball bigger. And he probably know how much death benefit that you got from Greg's passing. Because we know you ain't gave it to the children. So they hollering that out real loud for any and everybody to hear. But I just wonder how you feel, Nene girl. How do you feel about Carlos King, which he was an executive producer or producer of the show when it first started. Y'all were working under him, taking y'all grievances or, you know, pitching ideas to him. And you were loving every minute of it. But now in your complaints... You're saying something totally different. So, girl, I just wanted to know, girl, I just want to know. And just, just say, 
if they made an OG, um, uh, we call it an OG Real Housewives of Atlanta, and we had all the girls there, like Phaedra Parks, who else there? Uh, we could bring Shamar DeVoe back. Uh, like the old old has beens versus the original G's of uh, or Real Housewives of Atlanta and we wouldn't include you Nene and somebody will probably be taking your uh, lovely phrase that you like to use I made it what Real Housewives of Atlanta is today that was my baby wonder who could say that and get away with it probably Kim Zosiac girl Probably Kim Sosa, yeah, your arch nemesis, the one you love to hate one day, love to love on the next. She's still raining. Mm-hmm. And I know they paying her to come back to this one time being shown event that Carlos King is throwing together or have, or have put together. But it don't have that one ingredient. That's you, girl. That's you, Nene. How are you feeling about that over there, girl? Are you partying? Are you crying? Are you just indifferent? Let us know. We really want to know what's going on. You can come right on over here to Deb Chanel's 40s world. Drop down in them comments and tell us how you feel, girl. That's embarrassing. Really, it is. It's really embarrassing. And I wouldn't even be showing my face out there like that for people to come up and ask me anything. But girl, you bold. You bold. You're a better woman than me. You are a better woman than me. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Like it, love it, gotta have more. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Share my videos and get down in those comments, okay? And let me hear from you. And definitely don't forget to hit that like button because that helps me and my algorithm. Alright, I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.